Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to New England Wrestling Alliance presents Llama Championship Wrestling. P presents what now? Uh, my what? name is Patrick McRoin. And I'm Michael Huntington. Ladies and gentlemen, the llama's coming straight to the ring to introduce... He's got something to say. I mean, new place. I mean, what, what is going on? I just got back from quarantine. Everything is madness around here. What, do you, what, what is going on? Llama Championship Wrestling? Yes, yes. Listen up, pussies. Because the greatest wrestler ever, me, the llama, is talking. This is now Llama Championship Wrestling. Because I'm in control now. After winning all three of the greatest championships in the multiverse, I have all the power. All of it. I have banished Biff Striker into the multiverse. So all you haters and losers out there have no one to complain to. The llama is in control of everything. Tonight, my personal security guards, the troopers, We'll be taking on the Union to show all your pussies that they are the greatest tag team ever. Hopefully, someone will impress me before the Alpaca Bowl in eight weeks. It's the first ever two-night wrestling event. I want a worthy challenger. The Llama only sees a bunch of pussies back there right now. The Llama has spoken, pussies. Strong words from the llama there. Yeah, big gonads on the llama these days. Like I said, what what did I miss? He got all of the championships. He has the big ham championship. Wait. He has the universal championship and the newer championship now. He's in control. And he banished Biff. Well, of course he banished Biff. I, know, when you're in control, you get rid of your enemies right away. The, our dear leader, the llama here, is he's he's a genius. He knew what he was doing. He 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 planned all of this out. He's an amazing guy. I'm glad. I'm glad that Biff is no longer here. He was ruining this company, ruining it. He's a dear leader. Lead llamas don't lead deer. I mean, if anything, it'd be Grimlock because deers love cats, but. Uh, well, yeah, they'll follow. They'll follow the cat anywhere. Seriously, YouTube it. Anyways, I, I don't, I don't understand what's happened. This is just all completely insane. Well, don't worry about it. It's time it, we should be moving on to the uh, first match of the evening. The llama booked this match too. All right, it's time for our first official match of Llama Championship Wrestling, the greatest wrestling promotion in all of the multiverse. I'm never calling it that. Right, it, I'm it, never, it, never. The Llama can do whatever he wants he's going to do. Maybe go back and sit in my room again. I've already done that for a month. <laughs> no, he'll force you to stay out here more often, oh, Jedi. God. I mean, Michael. <clears throat> <laughs> Top Club making the appearance. Yes. Big I, man coming out to get it done. Yes, this is a one on one match ring. between Maddie Sneakers and PJ DeSilvio. Uh, they are, I mean, he's too dominant. Yo, why, dominant guys. why are they fighting? First of all, PJ's the champion. They're friends. PJ's no longer the champion. He hasn't been the champion for a while now. What? Yeah. Uncle Freddy took that off of him. Oh my god. And then Uncle Freddy and Biff Stryker both lost their championships to the Llama in a triple threat match back at Blood Feud 4. The final feud, a.k.a. Llamageddon. I think I'm having memory issues due to quarantine. It's okay. It's, it's okay, man. I'm, I'm cracking up, man. Everything's different. Everything's I mean, weird. It, it wasn't your fault that the police <clears throat> surrounded your house and made you stay there the entire time. 
Yeah, I think the llama's behind it. I think so, too. I was forced to, to call every show for like a month now, completely alone. Do you know how much? That was so much on my vocal cords. But the llama saved me and gave me uh, a wonderful drink here. It's, a, it's kind of a monster. It's known to unleash the beast, so. Oh my god, he's drugging you. Daily, don't you understand? The llama has you under his power, man. You can free yourself from this. The llama is the greatest ever. Oh my god. We have so much deprogramming to do. Alright, well, Zop Club's coming out, and uh, they are, I mean, <laughs> dominant fashion. Perched. They are ready, and... <laughs> They're not really moving. <laughs> Mixed Come reaction on, from the crowd. I, I think know. they want them to get on with it. I'm not sure entirely why they're getting booed at this point. Again, well, I mean, the, this is the, the weirdness llamas. of the llama verse. Yeah, we are in the. It... Welcome to the llama verse, everybody. Mm. PJ, PJ's coming out next. Uh, will he be bringing out his tag team partner? I mean, Maddie Sneakers, the Zop Club, they, they roll as a crew. Oh, of course they do. And so here comes the Russian crew. It's the Brooklyn Bratva. A couple of dudes from New York. They are one Russian bear who's not really a bear. And Stonehands himself. <laughs> Neither one of them are actually Russian. No, no, not at all. They just think it's cool. <laughs> I, do you blame them? I'm not arguing with them. Have you seen these two in the ring? I'm not saying anything to them. No, they, they are vicious. They people, put the pain on people. The people's champ and the people's kitty. Yeah, PJ suffered a loss recently. I forget who it was, too. Uh, but Grimlick then came out a week afterwards and avenged that loss pretty well. That's how they roll. If one of them can't beat you, the other one will come right after you. PJ, Matty Sneakers, look at all! Oh, oh, ref and PJ down immediately. Both at once, the big man just comes out oh. ready to brawl. But, oh, PJ reverses, goes for the arm breaker. Oh, cannot lift the big man. Up oh, and, oh. oh, quick knee to the dome. Many sneakers getting caught by PJ, but then again, PJ has been a dominant champion in this company. Always. He's taken on the biggest, he's taken on the fastest. He has always come out on top. This is going to be a oh. brawl either way. Oh. Sets him up. Snake eyes. Oh. Right into the turnbuckle. Dropping some elbows on. Ooh. Sneaks around. Oh, the slowest fast hands I've ever seen. He's taking his time and being methodical. It's like cutting down a tree. I mean, do you blame him? That that is a big, big Maddie sneakers right there. That's a big set of sneakers. Drops the fist. Sets up a submission. Or nope. Oh, oh Maddie sneakers rolls. sneaks out of it. Catches PJ. Big old neck breaker. Squats down, lets some gas out. Well, you know, you gotta let it go. You can't be uncomfortable. <laughs> Back and forth, these guys go. Just swinging. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chop across the chest that does nothing. Manny Sneak is dragging PJ around the ring. I wonder what he's going, what he's got planned. Apparently, he's just going to jump around a little bit. Oh, off the ropes with a miss. And and huge DDT. Big man was stunned. Oh no, nope, he's out. Slides out of the ring to collect himself. Ooh. Oh, back and forth they go. Spear! Oh, big spear. Let's see it one more time. Just drives a, a big man into the into the mat. Over such a short distance. 
Just the explosive power that he pulls out of there. DJ drags many sneakers to the ring, gives him a ooh. stone hand across the face there. Suddenly everyone's standing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Matty Apparently, Matty Sneakers has had enough. He is finished! <laughs> oh. Matty Sneakers is finished with this, <laughs> with with the back and forth here. He is, he is giving it oh. all. Goes for the pin. One. No, just a one count. He thought he could put him away right then and there. So he's now he's going to dance. Oh, wow. You know. Oh, drop kick. PJ is uh, he's looking a little off right now. Well, Matty Sneakers gets him in. But PJ the powers through. Tripping up the oh. big man. Oh, oh reverse face. And another a spear. spear. With Maddie Sneakers uh, just dazed by that, comes back around and gets hit by a spear. These two men are just uh, attempting to hurt each other at this point. Oh! oh. That's got to sting. He's, PJ is calling for the end here. Oh! Stone hand right, right on. Right on the button. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Oh! PJ... Puts Matty Sneakers to the mat with the stone hand. He's Every time he's able to pull that out, he finishes a match. Very, very few times have anybody been able to come back from that. Matty Sneakers tried to put him away earlier, but just could not keep the former champ down. Not at all. I, I mean, he, he definitely, they went back and forth on trading you know, shots and having total control of the match, but this spear, these spears, that's what it was. That explosive, explosive offense from PJ. Undeniable power. Congratulations. This was meant to punish both men, but honestly, I think they both come out looking stronger because of it. Congratulations, PJ. We'll uh, hopefully see you again soon. Okay, camera guy. I mean, we can you know, cut to commercial at some point. We got to pay bills. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, it's time for a second singles match of the evening. Uh, this, this is just between Japan and New York. There has been a battle. And we're still getting some more of it tonight. <laughs> well, out comes uh, anime sashi. Uh, you know, these guys, it's always a crapshoot. It's 50 50. Oh, yeah. They're not going to come out and take their opponents apart, or they're just going to get tossed around like a sack of beef. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, so one weird thing Oma has a win over our dear leader, the Llama, the greatest wrestler of all time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and good for Oma. It surprisingly has a win over him. Uh, I mean, so he's he seems to be a little bit more of uh, on point when it comes to uh, getting the win compared to Baki, who seems to. Frank's coming out of the office, <laughs> out of the office, out of the <laughs> audience. Oma is just he's ready. He's ready for this. Oh my God! <laughs> he was kick. not ready for that. Punisher. Showing them how New York does it. <laughs> and Oma takes and him right back and just like shows Frank that he knows exactly how to fight. 
foot in the boots and wrapping him up. Working him over. But Frank escapes. Both That's a met. swing and a miss. Frank has missed a couple of times now. I think he uh, he may have. I, I think he may be off his meds. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just a little bit. Frank dumps Oma over the top rope towards Daredevil. Oma just barely dodges. But Frank then really misses, pulls him back in. Working over Oma here. Giving him, you would say, punishment. A bit of a punishment. <laughs> okay, that was that was not written by anybody. Uh, that was actually written by the llama. No. We were told to put that in. Yeah, where's Arthur Morgan in all of this? Anyway? I don't know. A lot of the Biff's boys are not around right now. They've gone into hiding. With Biff thrown into the multiverse and all of the, the entrances being locked away and controlled by the llama. I mean, our dear leader, the greatest wrestler of all time, the llama. Oh, Frank oh. dropped that hard. Oh. Oma moves. Frank gets wrapped up by the ref. But And nobody cares. <laughs> the ref is taken out. <laughs> the only person that did that was Oma. But the ref is not able to call it right now. Will he will he call the interference though? Oma is taking a Apparently beating not. right now. Frank sets up and waits. Stunner! Oh, huge stunner. Calls Oma back to his feet again. And then goes for the pin. It goes for the pin anyway. One, two, three. And that that is was it. That was fast, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Brooklyn not having it tonight. The Brooklyn Bratha come out and put away Matty Sneakers from the Zop Club. And now the Punisher comes out and just absolutely manhandles Oma Takeda. Comes out of the audience and immediately is just like, no, I'm finishing this fight as fast as possible tonight. I got other things to take care of. New York strong, baby. <laughs> Congratulations, Punisher Frank Castle. Here is your winner, you, the Punisher you dominated Frank Oma. Castle. A man who has a, a, a win over our dear leader and the greatest wrestler of all time, the Llama. You gotta be nice to him. You gotta be nice to him. You gotta be nice to him. He kept me under lockdown for a month. What, what's he gonna do to me? Force you to keep working here alone, man. I don't know. Have some monster. Have some of this monster. <laughs> no. No. All right, it's time for some tag team action here in Llama Championship Wrestling. Are, are those Imperial Stormtroopers coming out? Yeah. It, the Llama said that he hired a couple of troopers. Oh, my God. He and Palpatine have gotten together. He that is definitely a Sith Trooper and a Death Trooper. Mate. Look at the size of that guy. That Death Trooper is here. He is, he is ready to destroy everyone in his way. Sith wow. Trooper has, it's, oh yeah, just, it, have you noticed also that there's a thing, there's a theme in Nua of tag teams with a big and small guy? Huh, kind of weird. Funny that. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> huh. Except for this tag team, it's the Union. Oh boy. The, the acolytes of the Dark Order. Nice haircuts, boys. Yeah, you missed some. <laughs> Lance, Cut Lance Cutler and Percy Norwood. A couple of guys from England, from the UK. Oh, do they? Nice leggings. Did you forgot your wands at Hogwarts? I think. Oh, that's not the type of dark arts that they're into. Oh God, they're emos. It's even worse. They're trying to bring you know, bring Cthulhu back. Okay. They they do have some signs like in the back. They've got pamphlets. Oh. You should check them out. You should check it out. Have they been talking to Anime Attack? Little hentai action. What's going on? Once again, the tag teams get split up at the beginning of the match. Not the, entirely the sure. The Death Trooper just gets dropped. Oh! I don't know why Lance Cutler's tag team partner is not getting into the ring. Oh! 
That's because the rules on this one was it's a normal tag team match. Uh, again. The llama is setting llama up just weird, messing weird rules. With stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Sith Trooper. Zero Fs given. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, they're out here to like, just beat up. Instigating. The, to, to beat up the Union. Who somehow has tag team moves. Oh my god! Sith Trooper <laughs> is all over the place. They're just beating up these kids. <laughs> do, 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 do. Whack. <laughs> these rules. The rules here in the New England Wrestling Alliance, especially in Llama Championship Wrestling, get confusing. And, uh, yeah, this may not I, have I, been the way that they planned. I think it's, uh, they planned. Didn't see it, it never happened. Exactly. Kind of <laughs> Outside the ring, though, the legal man is the Death Trooper and, uh, Percy. Is that Percy or Lance? I don't know. They both look alike to me. Death Trooper rolls back into the ring so that he is still <laughs> the, the actual legal man. Ooh! Oh, that, that drop right there. <laughs> the ref, the ref. has the stairs. <laughs> what is the ref going to do with the stairs? Death Trooper gets sent to the far corner. I think the Union is setting up a tag. Nope, nope, just a, a strike in the corner. Oh, Sith, Sith Trooper. Trying to get involved. The ref. Percy pulls Death back into the corner, uh, back in. Not even a one count, broken up by Sith Trooper there. Who takes out Lance Cutler? I think Death Trooper's looking for the tag here. There's the tag. Exploder suplex. His Death Trooper is leaving the ring. Sith Trooper continuing <laughs> to manhandle that play out there. Oh, what, what was, was that? that? Tried to go after the other one, got nailed on the return. Oh, and then just a series of strikes and strikes and strikes. Oh, but Percy gets, gets a reversal. Man. Death Trooper with the most to awkward Sith Trooper gets out of it. Break up. All right, all right. Death Trooper's just over there, like you know, telling the ref it's okay. They work for the llama. Even if they get it's allowed. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. What is Percy doing here? Oh, nice, nice flip. A little, bit of a hippity hoppity thing going on there. Now he's got a comeback going. Sith Trooper rolls out. <laughs> Death Trooper starts uh, distracting the referee. Trooper wraps Death up. Trooper he's trying to get all the way out. to the other, the other ring. Pole. All the way up and takes, takes out the ref. The <laughs> oh, Sith Trooper. Just takes out the ref the and goes again. after Percy. Percy Rolls back into the ring and gloats about it. Sith Trooper. 
Seth sends and him for a ride. Decides Seth to get back into the ring. <laughs> Death. Death Trooper is grabbing Takes a, a seat. chair. Sith Trooper takes out the rub from behind. <laughs> over and over again. Death Trooper is just swinging a chair at this point. It hasn't really hit anybody with it. This this is just it is broken down as a match <laughs> in general. It is no longer a match. This is just this is a fight. Percy. Sith Trooper oh. down. Goes for the Sith. pin. Sith has got the pin. Death has been distracted. That is it. The Union Pulls walks out. away with win. A second time that they have been told that they were going to lose in a match. And they've pulled out a win. <laughs> Against the Llama Troopers. Yeah. Congratulations. Who did everything they could, literally, yeah. to take them out. They were told they were told to have a standard standard tag match because the llama doesn't like this tornado tag stuff. And uh yeah, it just it did not work Literally out in their favor. They pulled out the stairs and the chairs. They brought out weapons. Took out the ref multiple times and still could I, not pull out the win. Uh, I I I don't know what to say about this because that means that either the llama hired bad people or or, no, that's not possible. Yeah, because that would never happen. The greatest wrestler ever of the llama, the smartest man, our dear leader, cannot, cannot do that. Beth, we're coming for you. Out of the blue, Jacob backstage just goes after Mr. Green, who was celebrating with Zop Club for Matt, uh, well, Celebrating, if you will. They were helping Maddie Sneakers get over the loss. Jacob just absolutely putting the boot wow. on Mr. Green. Did. Immediately, Mr. Green just ate and maybe had a bit too much of the bubbly. Oh, but Mr. Green fights back. Catch it. Ooh, catches him with some fast hits. Well, I have been noticing that people have been getting some more offense off on Jacob lately. But uh, in the end, it, it doesn't help them at all. They, they end Back up losing at some point. Swings and through. Holding his own out there. He's calling for Jacob to come after him. What was that? Did Jacob kind of fuse through him? I, I I don't know. Oh, Mr. Green continues. Strange, strange thing is happening. He, Mr. Green is just trying to run away. He needs to go out to the parking lot. Oh, gets caught up with the huge clothesline from Jacob. Almost a curb stomp there. That's my... Sends him further into the parking lot. Helping Mr. Green out to his car, if you will. <laughs> yeah, showing, showing him the way home, I guess. Oh! <gasps> Hits that rolling cart and just kind of gently moves it off to the side. Green back to his feet, kind of. Oh, into the side of his own car. Again into his own car. That's damages that Jacob is going to have to pay for at some point. Into the wall. Oh, this is this is not pretty at all. That's the llama's uh, limo. You don't want to damage that. That you know the llama will be pissed, and you don't want to make the llama angry. Is Mr. Green even alive anymore? I don't know. Jacob has just punished him, thrown him around like oh. a rag doll. Oh, squeezing the shoulders. Just uh, now, yeah, Jacob. Jacob had been before for the longest time was just trying to get people, like, to take them out. But now, now, yeah, this is it. That curb stop. Uh, oh. oh! Oh, right into the concrete. Jacob! 
So we get, uh, se- and not security, because that's probably the troopers. <laughs> so we get medical staff back there. Yeah, security has already been taken out tonight. I mean, they're in the background. Look, they're just sitting there. Would you get involved? No, no, I wouldn't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some tag team action. Uh, some tornado tag team action. Milano did not set the rules for this one. But he did set the card. And I mean, yeah. All right, it's the Monster Squad. They, it's the B side of the Monster Squad. <laughs> Lately, the Monster Squad in general has been kind of a B side. All right. They, uh, but yeah, they, uh, they're looking for a win. They, they asked for a match tonight. To Mama went, yeah, you guys got a match. But not having any tag teams really now. available. The Just that, decided that to throw to. two together. Yes. Maybe the Monster Squad can win against two people who are not used to being a team and who had no idea they were wrestling tonight. They just kind of got yanked by the collar and said, go wrestle. Exactly. You know, a uh, couple of randos. Who knows? Maybe maybe Monster Squad as a team will be able to pull out a win here over a you know, couple of guys that aren't aren't used to working together or working in general. You know, sometimes when uh, you know the world gets put into a lockdown, you gotta call on people that are willing to come out. Right. I mean, the llama has control of the multiverse and you know, has teleport teleportation abilities that he could just bring anybody in at any point. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> but no medical scrubbers on that. This isn't Star Trek. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they should invite. It's Santa. And their opponents. Sa- well, Santa is for, one of the. Of course, th- Santa's th- gonna come out. I mean, he's used to being quarantined and only working one day a year. So you know, I, he comes out every Let's once in a while, makes an appearance Nicholas. here, beats people up, maybe loses, and then heads right back off to the North Pole, where he's like, ah. <laughs> But looking to <laughs> add two people who are definitely on his naughty list oh, to God, his don't yeah. gotta bother with it anymore list. <laughs> That's a, you know what? They're still alive. Okay, <laughs> done. That's a verify if they're alive list. They're never getting anything, but just in case. But I wonder who's going to be his tag team partner. Maybe, uh, uh, who knows? I mean, I don't who, know who's backstage who's, right now. Who was so. hanging out backstage before the show? Anybody who just happened to be there. It could be the bread delivery guy for it all we know. Could be, uh, oh, Santa oh. Break is, is going after the Monster Squad immediately. Not even having a tag team partner out here yet. Doesn't even care. Oh, and it's Vaughn! It's the man from Pandora with the most amazing of pecs. He comes right in and... Oh, yeah, he gets laid Santa right out. Off the second rope, right into Dr. Fear. Fear reverses. Santa reverses. And Vaughn and Santa are in the ring in control. Ooh! Oh. The rando team is in control, ladies and gentlemen. I, Santa takes everyone out there. <laughs> that was everyone. Just can't get in the ma- big man's way. No. You don't, you don't want to fight that bowl full of jelly. <laughs> Santa again Still. levels everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think Santa was just, uh, he was prepped. He was ready to come out here and just fight everyone tonight. Oh, Dr. Fear. Attempts a pin and wraps Santa up. Vaughn comes uh, comes over and just grabs Fear. Yeah, big suplex over. Oh, poor Monster Squad. They were they thought that they were going to be coming in and having a easy match against Santa a couple of people. Lay rolling over everybody. And now. Now they seem to be starting to work together. Oh, what was that from from Vaughn? That was a great clothesline from him. Vaughn is working out as a second, you know, as a partner for Santa pretty well. Oh, Fear reverses Vaughn, sends him to the corner, and Santa's right there. Santa right on him. 
Oh, Slender kicks the big man away. One but, wraps him from behind. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head in this company. In these matches. Von's gonna, uh, is he taking a nap in the corner? No, no, it looks like he was knocked out for a second. Need a rest. Again, Monster fear squad gets thrown out. out the ring. Santa swinging a miss. Vaughn connects from swing. behind. And, yeah, yeah. Just no one is. Yeah, these randos. They oh, Vaughn showing athleticism. Big man just walks in the way. Vaughn tried to do, to uh, debate fear over there, but it did not work at all. And Monster Squad seemingly has taken over. Picking Santa up. Oh, Vaughn with a reversal on Dr. Fear. Santa oh, with a reverse on Slender. The Pandora presents are starting to fight back. Santa's getting pumped in the corner. That, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Phrasing. Jesus Christ. Back Rando's in. taking control again. Yeah. These guys are here with a quick kick to the knee. Oh, and Monster Squad has fought and back, back again. In control again. Dr. Fear goes for the pin. Somehow immediately broken up or broken? breaks it up just to talk I don't, some smack. I don't, I don't. That was weird. Guys, make some decisions that are very, very. What's the word I'm looking for? Questionable. Like, why would Doctor Fear get Santa to his feet when Vaughn was right nearby? Ooh, Slender in the ring and right back out of the ring. Go, Vaughn goes for the pin. One, two. Dr. Fear kicks out. Fear reversal. Ooh. Santa gets him up in the air. Vaughn catches Slender on the outside. Big power bomb. Santa goes for the pin. Oh, Vaughn with a huge pile driver keeps Slender out of it. Oh my God, I was distracted by that pile driver Fear on Slender. Kicks out. Oh, and Santa just opened up Fear, busted him wide. Again, Pandora's present is uh, really Pandora's present. Who's writing this stuff? I don't know. It's clearly not Arthur. It's not up to his level of uh, no chagasity. <laughs> Instead, that would probably be been. You know, tidy whities in the bear. Yeah. Oh, just at this point. All right, honestly, Santa Monster Squad should. For this pin on one, Slender. two, and he oh, kicks. just a two count. Monster Squad has been paying way too much attention to Santa. Well, it's hard not to. I mean, Santa He's has big just and red. been kicking the crap out of both the entire match. Well, Vaughn in this case, literally throwing in. he puts the boost to Dr. Fear. Oh, but Slander fights back against Vaughn. But Vaughn just slides out of the way. Again. He's slippery. But he's tiny. Santa! Oh no. Oh, Santa goes for the pin. Well, Vaughn and one, two, kick out. Slender was distracted by Vaughn in the corner. Vaughn's just hanging. Santa's going to let him figure that out okay. on his own over there. Vaughn was working Saved on his core. Awkward. Vaughn 
Vaughn goes for a pin on Slender. Rope break? Rope break. <laughs> Did not think Slender's legs were that long. Santa goes for the pin. The ref is being really slow. It. One, two. Low blow by Vaughn there. Santa's got not fear up by the his shoulders. Ref. Big power bomb. Vaughn gets Slender up on his shoulders. Picks him up. Oh! Vaughn goes for the and pin. Another power bomb. One, two, three. <laughs> Vaughn gets the pin. Santa went for the secondary wrap up just in case. Just that in ref case. has been a bit slow. It's either slow on the count or just not catching things in the ring. I almost think the llama might have told the ref, hey, you know, do whatever you want, because that's kind of what he does. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but again, but Monster Squad not walking away with the win against a completely randomly chosen team. Yeah, uh, Vaughn and Sandev never worked together. They hardly ever talk backstage. But the, both of them were able to pull out win, uh, pull out the win here. Here are your winners. <laughs> That's the incredible! Saints, Congratulations, Nicholas Santa and, and Vaughn. Pandora's present. If, stop putting. Who's, yeah. Teresa, where's Teresa? We'll go with the randos. <laughs> Seriously, have you seen Teresa lately? I, I have not. Huh? It's weird. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event here in Lama Championship Wrestling. It is for the Chowda Championship. You know how this works. It's three men enter. Only one walks away the, cha the champion. And who did not get pinned? Well, they come back next week for another shot at that championship. Throwing his proverbial hat into the ring again. Trog Everybody's just, favorite blue furball. Trog just keeps throwing it out there. He's like, I, you know what? A couple weeks ago, I had a uh, number one contenders match for... Uh, for the NUA championship, didn't win that one. Trog okay with that. But Trog here now for, for, Chomp, for uh, Chowda championship. Aquarius sponsoring our next contestant. <laughs> Not sure why we have this, but... Oh, yes, a new guy here. He just goes by the initials. T.A. right now. Who the heck is this effort? I don't know, but he's got Pyro. Good on you for having some Pyro. Subcontractors get all the best effects. <laughs> they usually do. They charge more, though. And introducing the challenger. But yes, he is just T.A. Weighing in. Jedi would give him. I mean, sorry, Mike, Michael T Huntington. A. Yeah, apparently I'm Mike Huntington. <sighs> okay, I know that these are supposed to be plays on like Mike Hunt and Pat McGroin. Yeah, but it's it's not Patrick McGroin. By the way, you you asked about Teresa. Yes. Um. Yeah, against. I, I guess we have a new intern, Phil Phil Mc, McCraken. What, Phil oh, McCraken? What, what's yeah. your name? Mc, McCraken. Okay. Phil McCraken. Yeah. Oh. Especially the he can't even come up with insults. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, the dear leader is the best we've ever had in this company, and we will succeed far better than we've ever had under the 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 oppressive rule. From the, the, Biff the, let us do anything we wanted. He never paid us, it, but at least we were happy. It was oppressive. It was oppressive. I'm going to have some more of this monster. Mm. Oh. oh, I feel so much better. Calm. Calming. Mom is amazing. That's not what it does. But we've got the Chowder Championship here, ladies and gentlemen. Is New it, guy, T. Is it still brought to you by your grandmama's clam? Chowda? Yes, it is. It is the creamiest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he, I, just lights before out. the lights went out, he was a Darth Maul wannabe. I saw it. Okay. Okay. 
And speaking of a Darth Maul wannabe, <laughs> we've it, got Dragon. Champ. He walked into Blood Feud for the champion. He was smart about it, made sure he was the last man coming out of the pod and was able to, because of that, succeed in defeating everyone else in the ring. Well, being the last person standing, really, it's, it's an elimination match. Either way, using strategy, proving he's not dumb. No. Just dog right. <laughs> You're going to tell him that again? Remember what happened I, well, last I didn't time? tell him that. I just told you that. Oh. I'm yeah, not that's talking true. to him. I got mind control over Dragon. When he around, I shut up. <laughs> when he I leaves, I'd be talking again. <laughs> Great camera angle right into the floodlight. Oh, they, okay. That's why. It's meant to, to be... Atmospheric. Dramatic, yes. Okay. The eclipse. Because we all know that Dragon's from a hellish nightmare landscape. Someplace east of Eden. I don't know. Uh, probably Jersey, but... <laughs> Most likely. Or Georgia. Who are we kidding? It's Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the triple threat match. All three men are in the match. That's a beautiful championship belt. Once again, it's the Chowder Championship presented by your grandmama's clam. Chowder. It's soupy. Cool. Don't like a soupy clam. We've got Trag. We've got TA. And we've got Dragon, who's walking out with the championship. Trog goes directly at TA and gets dropped by Dragon as well. Ooh, TA's fighting back. This kid is not laying down for anybody. Dragon champ having some of it as well. With a namesake leg screw there. Oh, Trog thought he was coming into third party here, but instead gets taken oh, down. Quick reversal by TA. TA is impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Drug has just been off this entire time. <laughs> Drug is not allowing a submission to be the finish of this match. <laughs> and gives TA a reason to not want to ever do that again. And TA with a... Oh, a spear! And a swift kick from Dragon. TA rolls to the far side of the ring. Doesn't make it all the way out. Poor dude. <laughs> yeah, Dragon taking umbrage at the youngster. Says it's going around here a little bit. <laughs> and Trog's and doing Trog the do same. Thing. And, you know, sometimes you gotta work over the new kid. Dragon dodges Trog. Dragon with a quick Trog. Move, another quick reversal. TA on his feet and, <laughs> and back, back on the ground. ground. <laughs> Trog and Dragon going right back after it. Fast oh. hands, ladies and gentlemen. Trog with the avalanche fist. Dragon rolls out. Oh, Enziguri. It does not phase Trog. <laughs> Trog wonders what just happened. But the turnbuckle hit definitely got his attention. Yes. <laughs> That kid. TA rolling out. Check it under the ring. What's he finding? Oh, he's got a chair. He had a chair. Trog has a chair. Trog is using the chair. <laughs> Dragon is getting a stare. <laughs> oh, my God. That new kid just... And he fights back out of it. He gets gently nudged by the stairs. Trog was not gently <laughs> nudged there. Oh. The fight for the stair. Dragon gets it. Trog says no more of the stair. The chair was for the new guy. <laughs> Dragon with a quick slap and a chest bump. Strange bonding going on in the yes. ring between This is the back and forth these two guys go. TA is just being ignored now. Oh, no he's not. He floats over Trog and gets gently nudged by the stairs again. 
Drog not so gently matched. Drog is on the outside of the ring. He is. This match has just become. We Dragon is just weapons, taking it to him. Weapons have always been legal here in in Shadow Championship matches, but this is the first time that we're ever really seeing it. Dragon just sandbagged TA there. Dragon sent to the far corner, puts his knees up, and TA eats his knees. Rug looks under the ring and finds the red hot chili pepper. No, that's <laughs> under the bridge. Close enough. Drug and Dragon. Oh, Drug just gets nailed. It comes back in, gets some shots on TA, gets hit with a chair, and sent right back to the outside. Dragon continuing to just work on TA. Drug Truck from comes behind. In Thanks him for the head bash with the chair. Russian leg sweep there. TA still fights Suddenly, back. Suddenly, TA back up with a fury oh. and gets clothesline from behind. Rug brings TA to the center of the ring. And oh! <laughs> Little kick. Rug looks under the ring. Is he going to find anything under there, though? That's the question. No, he does not. Dragon goes for. Oh! Oh, that is a spike DDT to uh, ankle there. Oh, sprays a mist in in the face of TA. These two veterans are just having their way with the with the new kid. Over and over again. Drug and, and Dragon, though, they are going back and forth just enough. Oh, DDT! Oh! Incredible squirrely move by the big furball. They are just trying their damnedest to, to either damage this kid enough to never have him get back up again or damage each other at this point. Dragon gets a hold of Trog. DDT, DDT on into the, the chair! chair. Oh! Mamma mia, that was, that was, Dragon one, goes in for the rest, two, three. And away the young man easily. Trug. All the damage they put on to him. That, that last chair shot, that was enough to keep Trog down. Ooh. Again and again. To his New credit, kid. he struggled and got, put up a fight. But when these two powerhouses just decide to work together because they don't like you. <laughs> they, That's a bad, that, bad that, day. That DDT directly onto the chair, that stunned Trog enough to be able to get the pinfall victory here. Trog was unable to figure out either to hit the ref or to uh, break up the count. But congratulations. Dude, three weeks in a row now. He is the champion. United States champion. Right, season the belt. Keeping a hold of it. If he holds it for... Two more, he'll be able to trade it in for a, a tra championship shot at uh, for the NUA championship, which means that he could go spot. after the llama. Wow. Mm. Will the dragon eat a llama? We'll have to find out. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and join that notification squad. And thank you so much for checking out this week's episode. Because, as everyone knows, the llama is the greatest.